This is an overview of the genotype phenotype probabilities interactive illustration from sciencepimer.com. The illustration explores how the probabilities predicted by a single trait punted square relate to the actual genotypes and phenotypes produced from repeatedly crossing two individuals. View the illustration and related content for free at sciencepimer.com. There is a direct link to the illustration in the video description. When the page first loads, the main window shows the two individuals that, we, that will be crossed. As with the previous illustrations in this series, the organism is a plant and the gene of interest is for flower color. There are two alleles, big R and little r. Depending upon the patterns of dominance, two or three phenotypes are possible, red, pink, or white flowers. Next to the parents is a punted square that uses the parents' alleles to predict the genotypes possible from mating them. At the bottom right of the window are two tables. They are empty to begin with, but as crosses are made, they will show the number and percent of each genotype and phenotype produced. Parental genotypes can be changed with the two pull-down menus at the bottom left, and there is a switch to turn on and off complete dominance for the red allele. Crosses can be made 1, 10, 100, or 1,000 at a time. This provides the opportunity to explore the relationship between the expected and actual values as the number of crosses increases. As more crosses are added, the actual and predicted values should become more and more similar. But even with 1,000 crosses, they might not match exactly. Any changes made to the parental genotypes or pattern of dominance clears the offspring and resets the tables.